वेलकम एवरी वन इट्स वर्ल्ड नंबर वन हु फैन वर्सेस इंडिया नंबर वन इन ब्लिट्स अर्जुन एरिगाइसी हैंड शेक देर एंड देर वी बिगिन थ्री मिनट्स प्लस टू सेकेंड इंक्रीमेंट अर्जुन ओपन विथ सी फोर इट्स द सिमेट्रिकल इंग्लिश बोथ साइड मेकिंग सिमिलर मूव बिशप जी टू बिशप जी सेवन डी थ्री डी सिक्स and now arjun plays queen to d2 very interesting move defending the knight preparing b3 bishop b2 ho oh, ifan pauses a bit because this is slightly off beat and she plays her pawn to e6 very logical b3 knight e7 and bishop b2 now the main move here is castles and black is completely fine but ifan blunders look at this blunder the point is knight d5 is a winning move but can arjun find it it's not at all easy to spot this tactic but he does oh my goodness arjun are you guys he is a genius because there were so many things that were happening now look if you take here queen takes b2 hits the rook if you castle the knight e7 knight e7 and the rook is hanging so b6 was a massive blunder but arjun actually found this move and now hoi fan is shocked she's like oh my god i just didn't expect this to sort of crumble down so quickly it's just move number 9 it's just move number 9 arjun plays knight d5 what a move this is and now black is in trouble you know bishop b2 she takes here bishop takes g7 rook g8 and now bishop f6 arjun is totally better look at these bishops you can't even push the pawn because then bishop takes c6 and the queen is hanging So here black is losing a pawn bishop b7 and now take on d5 you can take it with the bishop but you can also take it with the pawn and now knight to e5 played but what a turn of events right out of the opening e4 arjun defends his pawn ready to push with f4 queen comes up and now pawn to f4 seems very logical just to push the knight away arjun has 2 minutes 36 seconds yifan has 2 minutes 10 seconds it's one thing to get a winning advantage but quite another to convert it and arjun is good at it but yifan is a big fighter that's how she became the world number 1 player and the strongest female player on the planet f4 attacking the knight now jumps with the knight attacks the bishop but arjun is like I'm going to pin your knight now you can't move so h5 to defend the knight but still the knight is pinned so you don't need to really defend your bishop here you can just move yes knight to f3 arjun brings his pieces out he's he's doing it well the extra pawn is important but more than that look at the black pieces they are all tied up bishop on b7 knight on e7 there's nothing that's moving yifan needs to figure a way out to get counter play in the position how can she do that well one thing is that this d3 pawn is weak and so she eyes it with her queen and also comes out of the pin now you don't forget your bishop on f6 is hanging you need to save it or you can just take on g4 that's what arjun does he takes pawn takes and now jumps in with his knight to g5 these pieces are beautifully posted on dark squares Yifan goes bishop a6 and attacks the pawn on d3. You can long castle, but you can also just bring your rook as Arjun does. It's a massive advantage for White. Huge, huge advantage. Yifan would love to long castle, but then knight takes f7 is also falling. Her knight is hanging on e7, so she is actually in in big trouble. She comes back to defend her knight, and Arjun simply short castles. Very cool. very nice brings the rook into the game and now yifan risks it she goes here okay knight takes f7 is possible but there are tactics like knight d5 they don't work like white is clearly better here but then as arjun you want to keep it clean when you are winning so much and so he goes b4 now the danger in such positions is that you often try to keep so much control that you tend to lose it that's the nature of chess and also of life you should just go free flowing that's what arjun is doing right now he's pushing his pawn he's not worried about queen takes here because e7 is hanging so rook d8 played and now 
it's time to push forward on the queen side a5 as well this structure is completely getting decimated the white king is sitting pretty on g1 while the black king on c8 is almost coming under an attack here huge attack the rooks have to just swing over the queen has to join in but now yifan can sense one opportunity by the way the opportunity is if her bishop gets down to this diagonal which she does and then somehow the queen joins in that would mean things opening up for example knight takes d5 pawn takes d5 queen takes d5 that would be something and so arjun must simply take the knight and then there are there's nothing to worry about there just take the knight and that would be cool then there are no sacrifices on d5 and this diagonal opening up and all that stuff happening and so queen a2 played by arjun and perhaps not the best idea but okay his point is he wants to take here on on d5 so that the queen cannot take his queen would then exchange it but you find still sacrifices a piece and you can see her expression she's not like too happy with it but it's done more out of a necessity than thinking that it's a good move pawn takes the knight and now of course you don't want to take with the queen and exchange the queen so she goes with the bishop but now check comes in there's a check However, notice very carefully, guys, that now after bishop b7, queen takes b6, the queen can actually enter the position. And this is exactly what Yifan wanted. Arjun brings the knight back. But here is where the rook can move up, attack the queen and the bishop. And she does it. Wow. This is becoming a little intense here. Arjun should have expected this to happen. He should now find queen here. And after rook takes f6, don't take it because there's a mate. But rook b1 and continue the attack. He's completely winning here. Because the threat is to take twice and then take on f6. And if you save the rook, then another rook joins in and it's a mating attack. So in that way, Arjun has a winning position here. But as we mentioned, he is under some stress now. Rook e6 has put a lot of pressure here. And he takes on c5. But now, Yifan has taken back and now taken the piece. So Arjun is only two is actually only now one pawn up. Yifan has fought back like anything. This is great chess. Yes, you got surprised in the opening. Yes, you lost material. But you're still fighting on. And that's the sign of a champion. Bishop comes to d5. Now Arjun has to realign himself to the new situation. If he reached this at any game, he would be happy, you know, pawn up. But here, he had such a winning position. Rook c6, brilliant move by Yifan. She brings her rook back. This can actually be a good defense here. Now Arjun is threatening to come in here with a check and win the rook. So be careful. What does black do? She goes rook e8. That's a decent move because now check would mean that the rook king connects to the rook. Check. King d7. Rook comes back with a check and now you can go back to c8. It's a safe square for your king but Yifan Look at her. She has two seconds play. With one second, she goes king e6. And she's like, oh my god, what did I do? But it's still fine. Rook e1. There's no time. There's no time. She's She played too slow. And in the end, a smile on her face. But what a game this was. It all started off with that knight d5 move, which was so amazing. Arjun spotted. Now the question to my head is, did Arjun know this tactic beforehand? Or did, it fi did he find it over the board? If he found it, then in 8 seconds to find this is unbelievable. We will get to know after the tournament. But for now, this was an epic game between Arjun Arigaisi and Hoi Fan.